Come with me on this horrible, damp, wet Thursday morning, and we've got a 2003 Ford Ranger, which is having an injection pump uh, belt replacement. And also, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see it down there, the actual crankshaft pulley has failed as well. First things first, we are going to disconnect the battery negative first. And we're just going to take that coolant fill cap off and send the vehicle up in the air and drain the water out of it. Now to drain the coolant out of it, what we do, get a little Phillips and there is a little drain bung in the bottom of the radiator. Make sure you've got a little receptacle handy. And take that bung and just let it leak out. There you go. Once all the coolant's drained, we can move around now, move the top hose and the bottom hose and a little little expansion tank hose as well. Uh, there is a little plastic trim that goes on the bottom of the fan cowling which has broke, we don't need to worry about it. All we're going to do now is pull this fan out and it should just come out ever so carefully. Whenever you're doing this, just watch the radiator, the cooling fins, because the, the viscous fan can sometimes catch it and damage them fins. And there we go, sorted. Let's move around to the viscous fan now and we need to get it off. A pair of grips on the water pump shaft and a long 12mm aviation spanner but I have had one round, which I'll show you now. It did round, so what I've had to do is get my air chisel and just chisel it round. And it has come off. And that is the viscous fan off, the fan pulley pulley. Um, we've undone the two tensioners on the alternator and the aircon pump. There's a 17 and a 10 there. Two 14s top and bottom of the alternator and also a 12 mil on the slider bar. Now, I'm not worried about this injection pump timing for a minute uh, this crank pulley is going to be emergency tight and we're going to have some fun getting this off I might have to put a little bit of heat on it so let's get involved well things have got out of hand rather quickly as you can see behind me I've had to take a lot of components off which leaves me a lot of access to the front crank pulley now now what I've had to do I've just put some heat on it as you can see it's slightly discolored now I'm going to leave that for a couple of seconds well about 30 seconds, so let the heat go through the bolt. We're going to get the Milwaukee on it and get that crank bolt out. And there you have it, that is the crank pulley now removed. Now, it's not uncommon for these harmonic balance pulleys to fail and separate, but we've had a little bit of a dilemma. Um, the pulley that I organized is wrong, it hasn't got this crankshaft pickup ring at the back, and I can't get the right one for a few weeks because they're on back order but nonetheless we have got a parts for pickups which is local to us and i'm going to be picking one of them up in the morning which is a second hand one now in between doing this job i've had to remove some dryer instructor dual controls out of a little audi a3 but what we're going to do we're going to jump around now and we're going to concentrate on this timing belt cover there's 10 mils up around the edge and we can just pull that cover off and there we go that is one uh, fuel pump belt now let's get this ignition pump uh, belt off. Let's get the, on these pulleys, there is little marks. There's little lines in them, which go to that little marker there. Now because that pulley's broke away, we don't know where top dead is. So we're just gonna put the Woodruff key now at 12 o'clock. Nigh on, damn it there, it's gonna be top dead center. But we're not worried about the engine timing, it's just a fuel pump timing. So I've put a line on the camshaft at 12 o'clock and a line on the fuel pump, as you can see by there. I'm gonna get a 14 mil now, I'm gonna slacken this tension off. It's very, very simple to do. Um, I need to get this spring now, clip it in the back, pull it round, and hook it on that bolt there, like so. Push it in, and that belt is the correct torque. Now we've got the belt on and we've rooted it the right way. It's very, very simple to do. Um, we need to get this spring now, clip it in the back, pull it round, and hook it on that bolt there, like so. Push it in, and that belt is the correct torque. And then we can get the bolt in and torque is bolt up to spec. And there you have it, that is one now timing belt fitted to the vehicle. All we've got to do is go get this plastic cover fitted. Well, we've come for a little driver rooney this morning and we've come to Parts and Pickups HQ over in Walshpool. This place is insane. If you need anything for your part of pickups and stuff, chances are they've got it. Right, let's go and get a crankshaft pulley. And there we have it, that is our brand new second-hand crankshaft pulley. 
They've got me right out of trouble with this one. And we are, well, in the middle of nowhere. Hell of a bunch of nice lads. Right, let's get back to Costa del Work. Now we're back in the workshop. We're going to get this crank fully on now. Um, the fall goes to plan. Should. Get it lined up. Slide on. Perfectly. Well, let's get it going now. The crank bolt. And also, we'll get the Milwaukee on it. And this is going to be plenty tight enough. Just when it's done. Beautiful. Before we go put in the viscous fan back on, we've put all the new alternator belts on it. They are slack as you can see and we've also put a new air conditioning belt on it as well. Finally we're getting somewhere, all the belts are on now nice and tight. As you can see you've got a little bit of play in there which you're meant to have. Now oh, this vehicle's been a drama llama straight from the start. That crank pulley has proper ruined me like. This should have been finished yesterday but not to worry. We've got all these bits and bobs to go back on it now and I'm not going to bore you. I've just got so much to do. And there you have it with a little bit of magic. The vehicle is now all back together. I've put some fresh coolants in it. We've got the levels are spot on. Everything is nice and tight. Let's get on the key and give it a big start. Now the reason why I'm standing over here away from the vehicle is when I put the camera now towards the engine you're probably not going to hear a word I'm saying. I'm just going to show you now that all the belts are running nice and true with each other. Absolutely perfect. Now this car has been an absolute pain in the arse. Now while it's getting up to temperature I have got a couple of other tiny little jobs to do on it. Uh, I've got a set of rear brake pipes to go on it and one thing or another, the usual Ford Ranger stuff. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get it sent.